Oh, that's one of the phony arguments that we don't have money for uh, bridges, highways, public transit, sewage, water systems, dams repairing, uh, school repair, libraries. But it's all being sucked out of the country, these proper tax payments by these big corporations, into places like here. Hello, I'm Ralph Nader, and we're at the Grand Cayman Islands. People think this is a beautiful resort, and it is. But when I hear the words Cayman Island, I think of tax havens for big corporations. This is one of the biggest tax havens in the world. There are all kinds of colorful roosters around here, but that's not why this house, Uglin House, is probably the most famous house in the world of global uh, multinational corporations who want tax havens. In this small building here, there are over 10,000 companies registered, uh, drug companies, chemical companies, insurance companies, banks, uh, defense companies. Why, why are they registered here with their subsidiaries? There's one bank has 23 subsidiaries right here. It's escape taxes. Often presidential candidates will uh, attack companies that are escaping America, that aren't patriotic that want all the services and all the subsidies in our country, but they don't want to pay for it. They want you, the small taxpayer, to pay for it. But then, when the election's over, nobody really does anything in Congress uh, or in the executive branch. So I think this should be a major issue in uh, the presidential campaign of 2016 in the U.S. Uh, and I might say that the estimated amount of money that's socked away in these tax havens around the world uh, where these little countries, in effect, they get a little economic activity and they don't have almost any taxes, is at least $15 trillion. Uh, nobody really knows the exact figure. This famous building. Leave the property, please. 